Okay, this is a continuation of episode 10. Let's look at what happened on the same day as the market closed. All right. So here's what happened at 2 o'clock p.m. Same number of shares the whole time, right? 2.58 p.m. And market closed about 5 o'clock. This is what it closed at. We were up $24.20 per share. But when we first looked at 2 p.m., same day, Okay, this is all the same day, March 25th, March 25th, March 25th. Same day we looked at it at $23.89. Guess what? That's only $4.37, right? No big deal. And you see it that realistically, when you were here at $3,911.57, you were also at $3,915.94. So this is roughly, if you round up, 3912 and this is approximately 3916 So your total value really only went up $4, okay, because of when you bought the shares originally. And these were purchased um, at least nine months ago and what they are. And it's not that big a deal. It really isn't. This is the deal we were worried about at 258 when it was fluctuating so badly. And now you see you had 9.35 increase, 9.47 increase. No big deal on the number of shares. Okay. Uh, no big deal, but this is what it closed. And so you can see how price is very volatile and how it is and why the SEC makes you sign a disclosure and so will each trading platform will turn around and say, nope, you're going to have to sign that you know you could lose this much money because you could have seen more of a drop here from 22.59. You could have seen this go way down to $21. And if you had seen this go down to $21, this amount here at close was going to be less. Might still be in the $3,000 range, but probably like 3000 and six three thousand because you're losing again from where you started a dollar a share so you take like 140 dollars out maybe three thousand eight hundred maybe three thousand seven hundred once you put on fees you know but something around this is what you were going to lose not a very very big deal but just enough so let's try again guys see you tomorrow on wednesday thanks for watching